Hey Nate here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create uh, this effect. The way we're going to tackle this is just through sections. Um, here's the file in After Effects, and you can see it's got a lot of uh, different stuff. Now, I'm not going to actually have the project file for download. Um, I'm just going to make it so that you'll have to make your own, I guess. Um, basically, we have our music, um, some text, our footage, and a few adjustment layers and stuff like that. So, uh, my piece of footage is actually in full HD, I believe. So you don't have to all you have to do is keep the camera in one position put it on a table or a tripod and uh... make sure your two people don't overlap so i pretty much used this bar right here as a uh, boundary line so i have me doing the pull ups and then i have the guy right here Okay. so let's get started um, my footage all didn't really name it but drop into a new comp and I'm just going to copy um, the length of it. Let's see here. Oh well, I'll just. We gotta find the place where we want to cut it, and we'll just do it right here. And right here. That's that's for the sit-ups at least. And then for the other part with the guy clapping, cut right there. And right there should work. Okay, so we can delete these two parts. And I'm not going to focus on the title or anything. I'm just going to actually just do the main effect. Uh, there's two things we're going to be doing here. Um, I'm just setting this up really fast. First thing is going to be um, to put these together, um, like to clone yourself. The second is how to freeze time, basically. Um, now, in my footage, like pay attention to right here, there's always some grain, like some film grain going on. Uh, we're going to figure out how you can create your own. So. I'm going to drag this footage and put it right over it, change the opacity to, to f around 50%, and it's pretty simple. I, that's just to make sure your footage works together and that they're not overlapping. I'm going to create a new mask and around this guy, and like I said, I use this as the barrier pretty much. I'm actually going to move it just a little more because I don't really need it that much. And that's instantly how to clone yourself, basically. Um, so, another thing we're going to do is, um, as you can see, there's kind of a sharp edge there. If we just double click the M button, double mount M, feather it, blends together nicely. Probably not so much, 15 maybe. Okay, so now we've basically cloned ourselves, and if we were to render this, it'd take a while, obviously, just because they're both two pieces of HD footage. Now to uh, slow down time. And then after that, we will. You can see right there we had some blur. Um, that's because we wanted to make it look like it's all one piece of footage. So we're gonna custom blur this side exactly with it. But uh, we need to find where he claps. I'm gonna set this to a third just so I can scrub through faster. Okay. And right there is when we want him to freeze. Except the only difference is I want him to freeze while he's up high, just so you know it looks like he's struggling more, maybe. Um, Okay, that'll do it. Um, 
Actually, we kind of want a frame that's not so blurry. I just, I'm just i just kind of picky in that matter. This one will work. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to write... I'm just going to turn off the sound really fast. Um, I'm going to click, right-click it, choose time, enable time remapping, and go to the beginning, set a keyframe, uh, go to the end, set a keyframe, then go to the point in time where you want him to freeze, So right here, and we're gonna set a keyframe there. Now, what you want to do, you want to memorize this time right here. So it's 21:07, and so at this point he's freezing. And now we want to go to the point in time where we unfreeze him, remembering 21:07, 21 seconds and 7 milliseconds. So obviously our footage is gonna run off here, but let's extend it more just for purposes. Um, so we want to freeze right here. I'm going to move this end, this is the end keyframe, remember? I'm going to move it over more. And right here, we're going to type in our number, which was, what? Oh gosh. 1001. I'm sorry, just forgot. It's because I've done this too many times. Twenty one oh seven, gotcha. So we want to freeze them at about here. So we're going to type in twenty one and then oh seven, and instantly we have him frozen for that amount of time. And then it just continues on, and he keeps doing his little sit up pull ups. Okay. Um, so, the next thing we want to do is we, we've got a pretty awesome shot set up. And you'll see that when he's frozen, like I noticed, told you earlier, this film grain in the background over here, it's, it's constantly changing that film grain look. But right here, it's frozen. So, we need to make sure it's a little more accurate. So, go to the point where he freezes, um, and we're going to draw a mask around him. Make it kind of a rough mask. Don't make it perfect. I mean, you can if you want to, but... Um, if you don't know how to make masks, just click the pen tool. Uh, you just click to make points, and you c can click and drag to make a easier curve, or just, you know, curve it. kind of camouflages with my pants in here. And basically what we're doing, we're cutting them out so we can make uh, another layer which will, uh, will apply a fake green effect to add some nice detail and accuracy to the scene to it. I mean this is something you know people m most likely won't notice but some people will probably most definitely notice this because I definitely would. I got this HD camera, I filmed it on it, it's pretty grainy because there's not very good lighting. So I definitely notice it. And plus if you're going to show this to any like important class or anything, uh, they're probably going to be like, um, that's definitely not real. You just want to make this to look as real as possible. Okay, so we've cut him out. Um, what do you want to do? We hide the mask, control shift H. We go into the mask options by double clicking M. I'm going to feather it like 5 pixels. Um, we're going to duplicate this layer, control D. Change the mask to subtract. And uh, we're going to go to this, this top one. And if we bring the expansion in or up to about like 10 in this case, then we're good. So now for the creating your own noise part, um, where there's a cool effect, and we go to effect, uh, noise and grain, add grain, and you can see a little preview box. Uh, see a preview box right here. See, there's a little problem, you know. 
Uh, we'll fix the problems later. But uh, for now, we're going to mess around with the settings. There's presets you can choose. I'm going to go to an open animation, but uh, I'm going to go to final output. And this will bring it, for, you can see it's way inaccurate. If we increase the softness, it kind of blurs it out so it's not as noticeable. And I found that changing the size to, I think, I th I think it was the intensity, the point four. I think the size was at one. Uh, it creates a pretty close effect. I mean, we can mess around here and get it more accurate. Um. But for the sake of this, I'm just going to leave it at that. Ooh, maybe not that much. Hang on here just a second. Uh, change to like 0.4. Increase the softness. And that's just get as close as you can to it. That's good for now. Because now, that got grain won't continue. So if we open U, our keyframe options, we just want to apply this to um, the time where he's frozen. So we're going to do some quick cutting really fast. We're going to uh, Alt begin bracket at the beginning of the keyframe. Uh, beginning of the freeze, I mean. And then... Uh, I can never find these keyframes. Okay. And Alt end bracket to end it there. So now it will just be doing it there. We'll go to the beginning and we'll click the animation seed stopwatch. And we'll go to the end and we'll just set it to like one value ahead. So two. And now it will animate this uh, noise we've made. So it will be a t ton more accurate. Now an another thing we want to do is we're going to cut the footage the same way. Um, due to the fact that the mask we created if we have it right here you can see it creates some weird results so um, we're going to delete the mask right there and in the end it has weird results too so we're going to delete that one okay now we have it or perfect uh, there's only one more thing we need to do and that is there's some blur at the beginning right here that we want to recreate so uh, we'll go to the where it kind of starts, which is probably I gotta kind of mess around with find it. Uh, we'll just say it's here. Okay, so we're gonna make a new adjustment layer, and we're gonna just put it right above, uh, right here. In fact, what is this footage? I just forgot. Yeah, we want to actually put it on the very top. Just it'll be simpler if we do that. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna create just a simple mask. Uh, leave some room if your person's moving. So, because uh, it tends to only blur your body. So that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm giving it some space so in case if he moves around, that that will have some space with it. Okay. So we have that. And we're going to go to where the blur ends. Which isn't going to be that far into it. Oh, why did I put my adjustment layer so far? So we want to begin it when he pretty much initially blurs, which is a little bit before this. So we'll just say it's right there. And we'll end it where the blur kind of goes away. So like right, right here. Alright, so we'll go to the beginning of here. We'll go to effect, blur and sharpen. Let's do a box blur. Box blur, excuse me. Um, and we're going to fade in this blur with the keyframe. So we're going to keyframe the blur radius. Uh, go a few frames forward, and I found for this particular case, 4 is pretty close. Um, yeah, that'll work. Um, okay, open up the keyframes here, zoom in, 
plus button. We'll go to the time where it's still the last time it's pretty much that blurry. And we'll set another keyframe. We'll go to the end and set it to zero. So basically we have a little it goes up, stays there, goes back down. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this quick little tutorial. I mean it wasn't very quick, but it's uh it's nice to impress your friends with that much work, that little bit of work. Um some things you might you know, if you want to put your friends, you know, this is totally real. The shadows are completely accurate here. Um because usually when you do cloning, shadows mess up. But you've got your shadows here, your shadows here, and it's pretty nice. So thank you for watching this tutorial. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Come out with more soon. Bye.